I knew there was something dubious going on here. Hey, The Things fans. We have a question for you. Have you ever spent an entire Disney movie trying to figure out why one of the voice actors just sounds so familiar? Guess what? You probably recognize those voices from another Disney film. Like how Lady Tremaine from Cinderella and Maleficent from Sleeping Beauty are played by the same actress. In today's video, we're going over all the Disney characters, or should we say Disney doppelgangers, you never realized were voiced by the same people. While princesses may be the shining stars of Disney, you have to admit, the villains are the ones who bring the movies to the next level. It takes a unique actress to voice not one, but two of the most iconic Disney villains of all time. Eleanor Audley was not only the haunting voice of Maleficent in the original Sleeping Beauty film, she was also used as a reference for the animation. Listen well, all of you. But her magical career didn't stop there. She's also the chilling voice of Cinderella's stepmother, Lady Tremaine. And I never go back on my word. Alice in Wonderland. Without the curious voice of Catherine Beaumont, Alice just wouldn't have had the same mystical effect that she did in the original 1951 film. I'm sorry, but I don't quite understand. But Alice wasn't the only character Catherine spent her teen years voicing. There's a reason why you might have found this voice from Peter Pan familiar. Catherine also voiced Wendy just two years after Alice. <laughs> yes, girls talk to... Uh -huh. We're not going to lie, this next voiceover doppelganger is bizarre, and we wouldn't be surprised if no one has ever put these two characters together. We all know how important side characters are, and the two roles Monica Evans took on made the film's heroes that much better. Robin Hood wouldn't be Robin Hood if he didn't have his maid Marion, right? Marion, my love, will you marry me? Oh, darling, I thought you'd never ask me. Thankfully, Monica brought her, along with this The Aristocats character, to life. Yep, Monica is Maid Marian and Abigail the Goose. Now think, Goose! It's safe to say that Alan Tudyk is a Disney legend. He's voiced not one, not two, but five different characters in five different Disney films. His specialty? Pixar villains. He voiced Weaselton in Zootopia. It's Weaselton. Duke Weaselton and King Candy in Wreck-It Ralph. Is that a threat I smell? But his role in Frozen is probably the most shocking of them all. Can we get a drum roll? He's the voice behind the Duke of Weaselton. Weaselton! Duke of Weaselton. He also had small parts in Moana and Aladdin. I can't take it anymore! There are 101 Dalmatians, but Martha Wentworth is not one of them. But she is their nanny. She had a way of making her voice sound very authoritative and strict. They are not mongrels! But still caring at the same time. Oh, you ducky thing, you! <laughs> That's why Disney just couldn't pass her up for this role in The Sword in the Stone. She played Madame Mim. How lovely! Barbara Luddy, on the other hand, was one of the 101 Dalmatians. She voiced Rover. I'm hungry, mother. But did you ever think Rover's voice sounded familiar? We're only asking because she was the actress behind three more pretty iconic Disney characters. She is the one, the only, lady from Lady and the Tramp. You have a collar. Mm-hmm. And a license. Princess Aurora's very own godmother, Meriwether, is also played by Barbara. Oh, it seems only yesterday we brought her here. As well as Kanga from Winnie the Pooh in many different films. Rue has a little surprise for you. We have yet another Disney legend on our hands. Who would have thought that the actress behind Off With Their Heads, also known as the Queen of Hearts, and Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo, Cinderella's godmother, were the same? Salagadoola Menchikaboola Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. But voice actor Verna Felton also took on two other roles that might shock you. She's the frazzled Aunt Sarah from The Lady and the Tramp, and the hot-headed Winifred the Elephant from The Jungle Book. Now you help find him, or I'm taking over command. One thing is for sure, Verna's characters get things done. 
It may be hard to imagine Cogsworth from Beauty and the Beast as anything other than a helpful side character, but his voice actor, David Ogden Stiers, played some major Disney villains. Maybe he was trying to spice up his acting roles, but he's the voice behind Governor Ratcliffe in Pocahontas. It's a trick, don't you see? And get this one, Dr. Jumba Jukiba from Lilo and Stitch. Didn't I tell you? We got fired this morning. Phil Harris went beyond the bare necessities when it came to his Disney roles. Yes, he was in The Jungle Book. See what we did there? He played everyone's favorite bear, Baloo. Oh boy, I've seen everything in these woods. But he also lent his talents to films like Robin Hood and The Aristocats. In fact, his character in Robin Hood was also a bear, Little John. Pretty hard to laugh hanging there, Rob. He traded in the bear animation for an Aristocat. O'Malley. And I'm very proud of that. Yeah. Next time you think criminal mastermind, think Tony J. Not in real life, but the Disney characters he's voiced are definitely questionable. From Shere Khan in The Jungle Book 2, all the way to Monsieur D'Arc in Beauty and the Beast, it's safe to say we'd never want to cross anyone he brings to life. But it doesn't end there. He also voices Claude Frollo in The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Chills. A monster. Frazzled? Scatterbrained? Trusty sidekick? You tell us what you think Bill Thompson's Disney roles can be described as. They are super similar, but different at the same time. Let's take a gander. First, we have Mr. Smee from Peter Pan. I can't be no clear. And the White Rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. Oh, my fear and whiskies! I'm late, I'm late, I'm late! Both roles are iconic and weirdly similar. But then we have his role in Lady and the Tramp as Jock. Badly. And Uncle Waldo in The Aristocats. Thoughts? Why, you won't believe what they try to do. Next up, Sterling Holloway. He was born with a name fit for Hollywood. All he needed were some amazing roles to go with it. And he got them. He took on the more mysterious and mystifying characters like Ka in The Jungle Book. Say no. And the Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland. A Cheshire Cat. All a mimosy. But Versatile should have been his middle name because he also voices Flower in Bambi and Rogue Fort in The Aristocats. But I'm a mouse! This voice doppelganger had us absolutely shook. We're not over exaggerating either, just wait till you hear this. We all know the Emperor's new groove had the loyal and lovable Pacha. He was played by John Goodman. If you were a fan of Pixar in the early 2000s, you might already know where we're going with this. John Goodman is also behind the voice of everyone's favorite monster, Sully from Monsters Inc. Cue the mind explosion. I can still hear her little voice. Some people are known for villains, others for princesses. But James McDonald? He's known at Disney for all the voice acting he's done for mice. Sometimes even two different mice in the same movie. He was the adorable Jack and Gus Gus in Cinderella and the Dormouse in Alice in Wonderland. Up above the world you fly. Oh, also he roared a lot. Basically, whenever Disney needed an animal to roar on screen, they called in James. He's even the roar of Maleficent's dragon form. Pat Buttram had a respectable career with Disney as well. He played three different characters in three different films. Nottingham in Robin Hood, Chief in Fox and the Hound, and Napoleon in The Aristocats. Hashtag respect. Listen, wheels approaching. We definitely saved the best for last in this video. If anyone is going down in Disney's books for voice acting history, it's going to be John Ratzenberger. He's been in every single Pixar movie. Every single one! His most notable roles are Ham in Toy Story. Uh, all right, nobody look till I get my cork back in. Yeti in Monsters, Inc. Hey, why can't they call me the adorable snowman? and the underminer in The Incredibles. But you can also catch him in Nemo, Wall-E, Up, Cars, Brave, Inside Out, Finding Dory, and Onward. After hearing all these voices side by side, it's hard to believe we've gone all these years without putting the puzzle pieces together. What voice reveal absolutely had you shook? Let us know in the comment section below. 
make sure to hit that subscribe button for more mind-bending videos like this one. Thanks for watching.